Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fade out a mix in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here. I want to fade it out after a certain point. Right at bar 11, let's hear the track. So to fade out our mix, we need to create a volume envelope for a master track. But first, we need to see the master track. Let's go up here to the view menu and choose master track so we can view it. Now we can see it in a track control panel right here. Now all the tracks in Reaper are going to this track. This is the last point in our project. And we can check that because if we mute it, we don't hear the song. If we unmute it, we do. So all the tracks down here are going to the master track at the end of our project. So that's the best place to fade out our song. So we need to create a volume envelope for the master track. So we'll do that by selecting it, type V, and that'll open up a volume envelope for the master fader. So we could use this to fade out our track or our mix. Now, if you notice on this track, I have some effects. And one of the great things about Reaper is that this envelope comes after those effects. So if we look at them, I have a compressor and a limiter. And if I bring the volume down with the envelope, it doesn't affect these plugins. These plugins are still seeing the same level. So our adjustment or the fade comes after the master track plugins, which is important. You don't want to change the compression or the limiting as it's fading out. That'll sound a bit weird. So let's close these, put this back to where it started. And now let's create a fade out. Now, normally we could do this by just creating two points by holding down shift, put one here, another here, and just bring it down. And now we fade it out on mix. So it'll sound like this. It works perfectly, but using this method isn't as flexible as it could be. So let's undo it and instead use an automation item like this. If we go down here, and hold on the modifier, Alt on the PC, or Option on the Mac, changes our cursor to this tool, then we can draw an automation item. So let's draw it from here to about over here. And it automatically puts a point at the beginning and at the end. So you can grab this point and bring it all the way down, and we created a fade out. But what makes this even more flexible is we can move it around. We can fade out earlier or later. And we can also stretch it if we want a longer or a shorter fade. Hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and go to the edge here. Notice our cursor changes to a stretch tool, and we could stretch it to start earlier, or make it longer or shorter. So it's a bit more flexible than doing it without the automation items. Let's move it a bit later and stretch it to be a bit longer. Now, there's one thing I don't like about this fade out. It's too linear. It's gonna fade out, and it's still gonna be too loud towards the end here. Check it out. So what tends to sound more natural is to fade out quicker in the beginning 
and a bit slower at the end. And we can adjust this with the envelope point shape. Let's go to this first point right here and right click it. We go down here to set the point shape. By default, it's linear, but we could change it to any of these other options. For instance, slow start and end goes a little bit slower here, a little bit quicker, then slow again. But one of my favorites, fast start. And that's going to fade out quicker in the beginning and slower towards the end. So it'll sound more natural like this. But that's a bit too slow at the end. So instead of choosing the shape, we can customize it by holding down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just grab it and create our own custom shape or curve that easily. Let's go somewhere between linear and fast start, right about here. And let's hear that. That sounds a lot better. Now, if you notice at the end, it's going to jump back up after the automation item. We can fix that by extending it here or trimming it. But notice what happens. It's going to loop this section over and over again. And we don't want that. So all we have to do is double click it and turn off looping for the item. So now we can drag it out as far as we need to to the end of the song. And now it'll fade out completely. Perfect. Now there are times when we want to set the length of our fade. Let's clear this. And let's say that we knew we wanted a 15 second fade out. We could do that like this. Go down here to the transport and right click and change this to minutes and seconds. Then we'll create a selection and change the length of that selection right down over here. Let's double click this. And let's make it exactly 15 seconds. Then we can go over here and right click and insert new automation item. And that creates a new automation item exactly that length. And we can see it by double clicking and checking right here. Our length is exactly 15 seconds. So this fade or fade out is going to be exactly 15 seconds. So we'll go over here again, bring it down, readjust the shape like this. And we have a fade that's exactly 15 seconds long. And again, we could double click it, turn off the loop, and trim it out to the end of the song. So it'll sound like this. Once again, it's perfect. Now, if you want to save that fade to use it again in any song or any project, just right click it and go down here and save it. It's automatically going to save in an automation items folder in your Reaper folder. So I'm going to name it 15 second fade out. Now, if we clear this, and at any point, we want to add that fade out, just put our cursor at the spot, right click it, go to load, and choose that fade out. And it puts it right in our project.
And it's exactly 15 seconds, or whatever we choose to save it at. We could also use this technique for fading in. Let's go to the beginning of our song and just do the same thing. Draw in an automation item. Let's make it about two bars. This time we drag the first point all the way down. Let's hear it. Again, we could adjust the curve, make it a bit slower. and create a perfect fade in to our mix. So as you can see, using automation items makes this a lot more flexible. We could stretch it to start earlier or later, make it longer or shorter, or just move it around to change where it starts or ends. So that's pretty much it. That's fading out or fading in a mix in Reaper. I hope you learned something Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.